Well, Huntsville, Alabama was once a pivotal location in America's race to space, playing a key role in the Apollo missions, as Morgan just showed us. Well, now, thanks to a boom in money from the Defense Department and the private sector, the city is seeing a resurgence and apparently some hail and high winds. Morgan Brennan joining us now from Huntsville, Alabama, with more on this story. We're watching you. I, f I thought the rocket, Morgan, was taking off because your hair was like, <sighs> and then someone said, no, it's hailing there. <laughs> I know. Welcome to the south, right? Hail, high winds. It's 29 degrees here. It's a it's a little chilly this morning, um, but we're here at National's Marshall Space Flight Center and between the Space Flight Center, U.S. Army Post, Redstone Arsenal and roughly 400 aerospace and defense companies that are operating in the area. Huntsville's Rocket City for a reason, and the emergence of commercial space is really only just fueling that. So Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin, which is building a $200 million rocket engine factory in Huntsville, and here on Redstone Arsenal, has taken over a historic test stand Marshall once used for the Saturn V rockets that launched Apollo astronauts to the moon. And so it has this great receptacle of talent there that you can tap into and it's been decades in building. So we wanted to go to where the talent is. So privately held Sierra Nevada Corporation hopes to begin landing its Dream Chaser space plane, which will carry cargo for NASA at the Huntsville International Airport starting in 2023. There's also been this boom in defense work. So hypersonics, these are missiles that travel at Mach 5 or faster, are being made or being developed here. That's helped lure Aerojet Rocketdyne to move its defense HQ to the area. It's put some attention on privately held Huntsville-born Dynetics, which has won some contracts as well. And Lockheed Martin, which has won about $3.5 billion in hypersonics work so far, recently broke ground on a facility specifically focused on this technology just outside of the city. They're trying to become an innovation hub of the South with artificial intelligence and, and other technologies, uh, quantum computing. Space is faster than hypersonic, so all those technologies can be brought together with AI. So that combination plus deep roots in STEM have also attracted other science and tech-based industries to the area. Case in point, Hudson Alpha Institute. This is a nonprofit biotech collective that is focused on genomic sequencing. It's based at Cummings Research Park, which is just a couple miles from here. It includes companies like Serena Therapeutics, which has developed a polymer that can cut daily doses of certain medications down to a single weekly injection. This is technology that could change treatments for Parkinson's disease, ep uh, epilepsy, even opioid addiction. But Brian, it really does all come down to space because even the president of Hudson Alpha tells us that, quote, he has real rocket scientists working in the labs.